Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here, back with another beginner calisthenics ab workout, which you could also say it's a body weight workout as well, that requires no equipment whatsoever. As you can see here, we're in this lovely, beautiful location. It's a bit windy, so sorry if there's any wind noise, we can't avoid that. And all I'm using is this mat down here that you can see. This is a natural yoga mat that has been made from sustainable materials and it uses no toxic adhesives or anything. If you're interested in that, I'll put a link down below for it because yeah, you can buy cheap no yoga mats, but most of them are really, really toxic. But yeah, anyway, that's, I'm not gonna go into any more detail on that because that's not the focus of this video. So all you need is something like a mat because if you're not using a mat, I have done this before with ab workouts and it normally hurts my tailbone, the bone at the bottom of my spine. So I wouldn't recommend that. And what you also need is a phone with a timer. And we're gonna be doing six different exercises, three for the obliques, which come down here. And then there will be three exercises for the rectus abdominis, which are the muscles here. And what you wanna be doing is at least three to four rounds of the exercises. So there's six exercises, you wanna do them at least three to four times. And you're gonna go round one cycle of all the exercises once. And make sure when you are doing them, that you're doing them with perfect form. Because as I mentioned in many ab workout videos before, many people say to me, they try the workouts that I recommend to them, it's not hurting them. And I've had people in the gym that I train say it's not working for them. And I see that they're just not doing it with perfect form. So make sure your abs are perfectly engaged and you practice the exercises as much as possible so you can execute them in the best way possible so you can actually tear the ab muscles as much as possible so you can get the greatest ab workout that you possibly could do and i'd recommend you only do this once a week if you're doing it correctly the abs should be hurting for days afterwards but if you want to do it two times a week you could do that as well but make sure the abs are fully recovered before you do it the second time within a week so yeah, you want to start your timer like so, and you might want to write down the exercises like I have here, in case you forget them, and I might forget them, so I've got them written there as well, so I know what they all are. And first off, we're going to start with scissor crunches. So, these are a very simple exercise to do. So, you can lay down flat like this, and if you're someone that wants to make this harder, for you, you can modify the exercises to make them more challenging. So if you're not a beginner or you'll find them too easy, modify them. So the standard scissors is like this, and you would lay flat down. If you're laying flat down, it's gonna be way easier. But for me, I wanna challenge myself more. So I lift my back slightly off of the ground. As you see here, rather than being down, it's like this. So my abs are already engaged now. They're really rock hard. So you want to do at least 24 of these. So each leg lift classes as one rep. So you're doing 12 with each leg. So that's one. Wrap. Oh, well, the exercise is done. And what I noticed is to engage my abs more and make it hurt more, I had to lift my back up a bit more. So rather than being here, actually being here. So I'm almost in a V up. So that's just saying to remember. And remember for each one, once you stopped, do a lap. And rest up to 60 seconds if you're a beginner. If you're finding it too easy, each exercise, every time you're going onto it, go down anywhere to 15 seconds rest. And the shorter rest in, the higher your heart rate is going to be, and the more calories you're going to burn, the more fat you're going to burn as well. So if you want to burn more fat, get more ripped, then you can do that. And the next one we're going to do is side plank uh, hip ups. I almost forgot the name of them then. And you want to do at least 12 of these on each side. So what you want to do is make sure you have your arm down like so, feet on top of each other, up like this, Go up as high as you can and do 12 on each side. So do 12 on this side, then turn around and do 12 again. So go all the way down. Don't rest your legs on the floor. Get them to hover 
above the ground and then go back up. And make sure to breathe really well. Feeling that burn. And then we switch sides like so. And done for that one and when you're doing that make sure that your whole body is engaged when I'm saying that that your whole bum is tightened like you're squeezing it you're tightening your legs your upper body including your arms and pretty much every muscle in your body so you can stay completely straight because if you're not you're not gonna have perfect form so that's something to be aware of and make sure that you do do timing again so you know where you're at and make sure like I said that you're breathing very deeply so you can fill up the whole body with oxygen which is going to give you the best workout possible and I'm getting my cameraman quickly a quick note and yeah if you want to move around doesn't matter if it shows your shadow on the floor you can do that but yeah give them a, a nice bit of moving around because I think they'll find that more interesting so next thing we're gonna do is hollow a body and max so when I say max you could do it to about 90% effort or you could do it to around 100% effort so where you feel that you cannot go any further the longer you do this for the better your gains are going to be from this exercise so with this one you make sure you're down like this and this is a really good drill to actually help you improve your handstands as well so lay flat like so and then just go like this and just hold for as long as possible make sure your abs are fully engaged it's already making me shake a little bit take note of my form make sure you're doing it like me Feel the bird, keep pushing on through, feel the pain. So I was nowhere near my 100% max effort, but I'll be there forever otherwise. But yeah, I was feeling it burn a lot. And what I noticed was, when I was actually breathing in and out through my nose, I could actually keep my abs way more fully engaged so i could get the most out of the hollow body hold and yeah felt very intense for me so if it's not very intense for you then you're definitely not doing it right and if you want to slow down your breathing it is the best to breathe in and out through your nose so that is something to be aware of and yeah, with every exercise, if you feel you're needing to push it further, like I said, do lower rest intervals and actually do more reps or longer holds if it's a hold exercise. And most of the time I used to do normally 15 seconds rest in between each exercise, which is a type of circuit training, which you can apply to any type of workout. So the next one we've got is lying oblique twists. So, what you want to do with these ones, you can have your arms out like this or down like this. I prefer to have them there. And what you do is have your legs here and then twist. Make sure your obliques are engaged and do 24 in total, so 12 on each side.
make sure again you do a lap on your phone and something you really need to be aware of that one you can easily just get your legs to do all the work if you're doing that your abs are not doing it all so what I really focus upon is engaging my abs like tightening squeezing them like now like they're rock hard and really engaging my bum so all of the movement when I'm twisting is coming from around this area so if you're not feeling your abs again you're not doing the form correctly and for people that got a really tight hip flexor you might not find that you can go all the way down to that 45 degree angle so just go as low as you can and if you can't go all the way down you want to be working on improving the flexibility of your hip flexors so that is something to be aware of and make sure you weren't doing what I was doing at the start I noticed I was doing that lifting my head up slightly just keep it flat down otherwise it's just gonna make your neck ache quite a bit and now we're doing side jack knives which with this one you will be doing it on the side so how you do this is you go like this Only 12, you can do any up to 16 to 18, that's absolutely fine, but make sure you do it in perfect form as you see, like coming up like this. And it may look like I'm using my arm quite a bit, but I'm using my obliques a lot and my abs here to actually lift myself up. And make sure that you're doing it with good, controlled, slow form as well. So don't just drop your legs down, make sure you slowly lower them down. And then switch to the other side. Do not be pushing yourself up with your arm whatsoever. Okay, that's 12 on that side. And what I'm going to say, if you want to make it harder, like I was actually doing, you may not notice. So instead of me just resting down like that, come up, get your feet to slightly touch, hover your body slightly over, rather than being here, be here, and then come back up. And that's going to be way, way harder. And now we've got a dog <laughs> trying to get in on the action, <laughs> which has a whole other dynamic to this. But yeah. If you want to make it more challenging, that's what you can do. But if you find it too hard, then obviously rest all the way down. But by not actually getting your body to go completely down here and here and rest, you've got what is known as time under tension. So your abs are completely engaged the whole time without them resting and relaxing whatsoever, which is going to give you the greatest ab workout that you possibly can get. And the next one is lying leg lifts. And I'm going to show you the beginner way to do it and then at the end I'm going to say a way you can modify it to make it easier. So you can either have your arms here, here or down here, whatever your personal preference is. And this one's really easy to do, so you just go like that. And I'd recommend do not rest your feet on the floor, hover them over like that. And you want to do around 16 to 18 of these. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so if you're finding them too easy, there's a few different things you can do. So you could do it like a hip thrust. You could come here and then lift up like that, but make sure it's your abs that you're using for that. 
it up like that which obviously makes it way way harder and you can come up even higher if you want to like so and then as you get better it's going to help you go towards dragon flags which I can't really do because I need something to hold behind me so it doesn't really work so yeah that is the ab workout all done for you in this video so yeah if you'd like me to make any more videos like this let me know down below if you like the video like down below give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down and leave any your comments that you want to leave down below give us any feedback any criticism or anything else you want to share with us in the comment section do so by commenting down below and yeah do not forget to subscribe and share this video with other people and if you do subscribe you are going to get a whole host of videos from me on a regular basis that will be calisthenics workout progression videos weight loss videos intermittent fasting videos what I eat and doing the day videos and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to go in the direction to actually achieve the body the fitness levels and the energy levels that you desire as well so if the type of video sound good to you make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those games peace